ass off of me. She keeps <laughs> running over here and attacking my arm. <laughs> oh. Go. Okay. You said all. Cats That's not her way of shitters. showing love. This one really is. Going. Go, child. All right. Ow. Ow. Hey, doodly, hey there. Yep. I wish that Noah was here so he could say the gamer word. Yeah, but unfortunately, we're just sitting here without him. <laughs> we also do not have uh, Minthro with us today. Yeah, Adams is out sick. Yep. But due to oh, surgery. Oh, really? Yeah, his, his face is not feeling good. Mm. Yeah, I. <laughs> So I don't blame him. Oral oral surgery. Like I had a lot of oral surgery as a kid. Um when I was um like probably six or seven years old, I vaguely like I vaguely remember going to the dentist office and I do not remember anything beyond that point. Like as soon as they put me under, I don't I genuinely don't remember anything for the next two days. <laughs> Um, apparently I kept making reference to the giant chicken in the sky, whatever that <laughs> means. I was a really dumb kid. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sitting over here. Chicken little. The, the last time I, uh, went to the dentist, which keep in mind, the last time I went to the dentist was when I was like 10. Oh, oh. chief. Oh, chief. Why haven't you gotten to the dentist? Dentistry is expensive when you, I just went to the when dentist, you don't have insurance. Uh, yeah, that's true. So, but yeah, the last time I went there, they put me down, and uh, apparently I woke up in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Like, fully conscience, talking with everybody type shit. And they didn't know what to do with me because, you know, it's a 10 year old. You can't really put them back under because you don't know what that, what the fuck that's going to do to them at that point. <laughs> so they just kept doing what they needed to do. Good move. Good move. Hey, with me, I, I think I was between ages nine through 12. I can't remember, but I had to go to the dentist. And they had to remove seven to eight teeth out my mouth at a time, all at once. Oh, wow. That's I had an overgrowth of teeth in my mouth. And I had very small jaw. But um, they put me under. But as soon as I woke up, like, my mom recorded the whole entire thing, even the ride home. I, I heard a car honk, in the car, and I honked back at the car. <laughs> um, Wait. Like yeah, I'm, like you made a noise with your mouth, or you like got yeah, up and I made a noise the... with. I'm, okay. I made. I was in the back seat. I made noise with my mouth. I will find the video and send it to you guys. I don't. But... I don't know if. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> like... But I kept talking about a purple or blue elephant. It was dancing and had an afro. Mm -hmm. Um. As they all do, yes. I wanted to watch Netflix, but I called it something else. Netflix? Um, when was this? Wait, how young are you? <laughs> I'm 21 right now. Okay. So it, it, it was like good six, seven years ago when this happened. Okay, Maybe so it's more, not okay. Yeah. You know, but it, it was weird. I just kept saying all these weird things. Uh, I kept trying to eat my shoe, thinking it was ice cream. Like I kept, like I was twisting my leg in a weird position to try to eat my shoe. Like I didn't try taking it off. I just twisted my ankle and knee in a weird way to get it to my face. Neat. I'm honestly afraid yeah, to go to the dentist. Teeth are fucking stupid. Yeah. Uh, cause my teeth are fucked. Mm hmm. Um, for reference, uh, the very back molar on the right side. Is half gone because it shattered at one point. Oh, chief. Um, the one next to it is also missing a section. Uh, I have a molar on the inside of of my of my teeth line on the upper on the top half of my mouth that 
is constantly causing my gums around it to swell because it, it keeps trying to move. Chief, please go to the dentist. I'm not done. Oh my god. I'm, uh, on, on my... I know. That's I think the first one was reason enough to go. I know I know. Believe me, I know. But whenever like I, I went to got, get like a basic understanding of how much it would be without insurance. I'm already yeah. looking at close to nine hundred dollars. And that, yeah, no, that sounds about right. And that's before factoring in all the stuff that they actually have to do. Mm hmm. So you can perhaps understand why I don't want to, have to take out a loan to be able to start fixing my teeth. Ugh, like, I get that, but it's also your health. Like, it's it's something that's. Uh, I've been missing that section. I've been sectioning. I've been, I've been missing personally. that section of tooth for five years. I can go another couple of years. No. No, <laughs> you shouldn't. You shouldn't go another couple of years. <laughs> that just sounds like it would hurt so much. It never has. The, you know what? It's probably at this point you've become, like, numb to the pain. I mean, I'm numb to, like, 90% of the, of the pain my body's in. You have to remember, I have full body arthritis. Yeah, that's fair. I don't feel pain much anymore. <laughs> Ugh. But yeah, also on, on my bottom jaw on the front, I have two uh, incisors that are overlapping other teeth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have fangs. <laughs> like, I have legitimate fangs. Hmm. I remember um, when I was like, I, I think it's like the exact reason that I needed that surgery, but when I was way younger, um, I had the reason that we had to go to uh, uh, the dentist was because apparently my adult teeth had grew in right behind my uh, baby teeth for my front two, my incisors. Um, which, you know, cool, kind of like a shark, but also, you know, extremely bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I think that's what yeah. happened to me. Howdy, partners. Hi. Oh my alive. god, you're here, oh and god, I hear vehicles. And I'm what? The vehicles. And I hear yes, vehicles. I'm... That's me. Oh, I was gonna say it's not me. Hmm. Well, so you uh, go? now that you're all assembled, we all can assembled. discuss. Um, I do have a dungeon planned. You can see the very first room in front of you at in roll twenty. Um, but I should say. It's A, a very big dungeon, and B, okay. geared for four people at level five. So, you know. We are three people at level five. Yes. Well, four and one, but, you know, level five nonetheless. So, um. I think, I think yeah. this is going to end up being a bit of a shorter session. Probably just more along the lines of, like, roleplay and things like that. I think we just kind of chill, do some like housekeeping, you know, that kind of stuff. And then actually like prep and get into the dungeon in the next one. Mm -hmm. That that's my two cents at least. So wait, 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 wait. All right. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember much of the end of the last session. Cause I was like just tired and trying to get out. Yeah. So, are we still at the fairy village? Yes, we are currently in the okay. basement. Okay, let me give um, a, let me give a rundown of just all of last session, right? Basement of the workshop, right? Yes. Uh, okay. so you know, last session we started off at the uh Christmas tree of bodies. Uh, yep. we pulled them down, but in the in the time that. The interim of us pulling everything down, we were surrounded by goblins. Yeah. Uh, they attacked us. We barely managed to kill them off, freed some of the slaves, found out one of the slaves is actually linked to your backstory. Yep, I remember um, that. We proceeded to 
shove some of the slaves in one possible uh you know hiding spot for a while while the others went and we shoved them in the workshop uh we went to Minthro's home she went down memory lane about her dad before finding the key to get into the basement of the workshop while also bricks was wood carving outside got freaked out had the carving in his hand change and is now questioning his own sanity. Uh, you, Arby, and Minthro are currently in the basement where we just found the door to Bunker 4, which uh, is obviously related to the bunker that we found in the other dungeon. Um, and... Brix is upstairs outside currently debating whether or not he is slowly going insane due to drying up because he right. is 44 hours without immersing himself in water. That is true. He can you well, actually him? no, he is he oh, is now we can. If you were if you were talking before we couldn't, but now we can. He is 32 okay. hours actually because he only because hell dried him out by 12 hours. Yeah. So, yeah. He has four hours, basically. Until he hits Exhaustion okay. Level 2. Which is the death... It, it, exhaustion 1 is never that bad. Exhaustion 2 is where the death si spiral starts. Because I have disadvantage yeah. on death saves. Yeah. And we have no water. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's where we're sitting. <clears throat> so funny. Not not what you said. That's not funny. You almost you b being uh, on a death spiral is not funny. What I was watching is funny. Yeah, but yeah. So uh, I think we start off with uh, Alwyn and Arby down in the basement. Uh, yeah. We have come across a door. I I think we're just gonna say that Minthro. But Arby know what number four is. What it'll look like. Um, you do. Uh, Arby, like just straight up, is the person who knows that it's number four. This is like, okay. like think of this as like reading old English, like actual old English, not Middle English, not like Shakespearean English. Actual old English, where it's closer to German than it is actually English. Okay. You can figure out like some things but uh it's kind of it, it takes time to like parse what it means but this one is pretty obvious like the numeral for four okay all right so is it just four or is the same bunker four it's um the same kind of large metal door with the uh hydraulics to either side um yeah it's pretty much the exact same uh if anything the only difference is probably the weathering on it hey alvin what's up should i try to open the door oh my bad this is, <laughs> hold on, restart, 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 restart. <clears throat> all right, go ahead, start, start from the top. <laughs> take two, take two. Arby. Sounds like he got caught up in something. Uh, Alan. Yes, Arby. Should I try to open the door? Um, let's give it some time. It appears our our friend Mint is busy at the moment, contemplating things, I'm sure. I'm sure this is a lot for her. And plus, Bricks isn't looking too hot. I think we should take some time to prepare before we do anything. Is there any hole in the door, like, big enough to stick my, um... Jack into. Oh. Um, there <laughs> isn't necessarily like this. Like is like Jack. 
genuinely the exact same as the last door. There's still a handle that uh, releases the uh, hydraulics. Um, Go on, R2, as for your a window, no, out. it's it's basically. <laughs> as for like a window, no, it's like a blast door. Like um, okay. it, it's specifically designed to take a lot of uh, damage. Okay. Well, blast door, bro. They put a lot. They put scrap into getting blast doors, bro. You're supposed to just stop at the fire retardant doors. Come on now. Okay, get that. Anyone, man. anyone who gets that reference doesn't believe that I have a headphone jack thing that comes off my arm. Say that. Uh, anyone, anyone who gets that reference, I'm proud of you. It's a fun game. Isn't it FTL? Yeah. FTL is fun. I never get the blast doors, bro. You just get like the anti personnel doors, or not even that. You just get the fire retardant doors, and that's it. That's all you need, bro. And then you stick someone in the door room to get the blast doors for free. Like, come on now. What's FTO? It's a roguelike. Like, uh, you run a spaceship and you're trying to outrun the uh, rebellion to get to. The... What's the actual name? FTL, faster than light. Okay. Faster I light. think that's FTL the actual fun. name of the game. Yeah, FT FTL, FTL is FTL, actual faster than light. Than light. <laughs> yeah, FTL, faster yeah, okay. than light is what it's called. Yeah. Okay, I yeah, recommend. I've played it. I recommend. Highly recommend. It's a very fun. I think game. I have like Been maybe 30, 40 hours. What would I even play it on? Uh, PC. I, I, I have a crappy laptop. It's it'll run on a Dude, potato it's like a, it's like a 10, 12 year old it, game. It's you're a good. very old game. Yeah, you're good. It's like it's like it'll run on a goddamn potato chief. You're dude, fine. Like, <laughs> it, dude, like I promise you, this game came out before roguelikes were like super popular. So, um, so, so, would so, it be put, on put like Steam. In... Steam, Steam. To put oh, it in okay. perspective, my old crapper, which could barely run Minecraft, could run FTL. Could barely run right. League of Legends. Get your shit straight. Yeah. <laughs> Minecraft's a big game now. It could barely run League of Legends. That shit's like. A... Well, no, it could. It could barely run, uh, Minecraft when one point seven came out. Yeah, like you, you'd be fine if you want to get it. <laughs> Uh, James, you'd be completely fine. Okay. Anyway. Um, anyway. Yeah, so... You guys are kind of down there. I, Aaron, I'm guessing that downstairs there is, like, some set up for research. Uh, by Mint's dad. Yeah, there is a, uh, small workshop, uh, workshop here in the... Uh, southwest or south, yeah, southwest most corner. And it seems to be pretty much covering this cavernous wall. Um, this a water basin. <laughs> uh, I, you know what? He worked with uh, mostly uh, electronics, yeah, uh, machines. So there might be like not electronics as much as there is uh, gears and uh, other stuff maybe some oil but i don't think that there would be a full wash base wash basin and uh faucet down here yeah. not like a dining not hall a wall. but no but no i'm guessing that's where mint is just you know going over everything over there okay yeah so yeah so yeah you guys just kind of I'm just going to kind of role play this a little bit. You guys will probably watch Mint to walk over there, pop out of throw, and just start working through notes and things like that. Upon also noticing that Bricks is not down there. That is also true. I mean, if we really want to do combat, I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm down for just role play tonight. Uh,. I have somebody stopping by for a little bit at like around like ten o'clock if we're even playing that long. But yeah. If we really want to do combat, I mean like shit. I'm down to smack up some goblins again. <laughs> oh. Almost died of goblins. I don't feel like it's gonna be goblins this time. No. No. Yeah. We are not going into this dungeon right now. No. I I'm gonna be honest. You guys just hear the door creak and you hear Arby. <laughs> No, no, stop! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, Bricks, Bricks is upstairs, probably, probably in a bush, somewhere. I'll uh, look out. 
What? On lookout? No, not really. He's mostly actually. He's pulled out another. Just rocking block. back and forth, having a mental crisis. He's he's pulled out another block of wood. And he's slowly chiseling away at that. Fair enough. Trying to make another one? He's making something else this time. Oh. This block of wood is almost as big as his head. Um, It's a lot of wider and taller than it is like has depth it's it's something it's a little bit thicker than you would see for like a uh wood tablet yeah like it's a bit thicker for that obviously to make a carving yeah uh, a more of a mural carving than anything else and he's chiseling away at that yeah because i mean he doesn't know exactly what is down there. He doesn't know how much space, and like, despite him being a small creature, he doesn't want to, you know, be crowding down there. Yeah. So. He's chiseling away at that. Waiting to see what all is going on downstairs. Hmm. I really don't want to go into this dungeon, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Not right what? Now. Do you think I'd throw a dragon at you in the first? Uh, yeah. First room. Yes. Oh, yeah, Mind I you, do. The first room of the last dungeon was supposed to be a riddle. <laughs> yeah, but you see, you You're should welcome. know better. You should know better. Even if it's a riddle, we're gonna fuck it up. Yeah. You're welcome. I mean, Aaron. Yeah. Do I have to remind you of the tavern? I mean, do I have to remind you you have an Arby? <laughs> yeah. I believe I still have a Chaos proc, don't I? Because oh, you haven't so. had a long rest yet. Let's see. Because that Chaos proc... Where did that come from? Well, Tides, I believe. Yeah. Which that would have... Although you my... didn't... You yeah, didn't, like, put Tides into the chat that time because, you know, you had already done it this session. Well, I can do it multiple times a session after each Chaos proc. Yeah, um, I know. Let's see. Yeah, I think I used, I used Tides to get a flat roll on a check. Yeah. I think it was, it was that investigation check. So I... Mm. Yeah, so I because that's a flat roll, so I use tides to get that as a flat, and then so that means that this proc was probably after that. Okay, well, yeah. So. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I don't think you have one currently, but do not be surprised to get more. Um. But yeah, for reference, bricks is, like, what he's chiseling away at, as I said, is a wooden, thicker wooden tablet, uh, kind of portrait style, and what he's essentially making is, uh, how do I explain this? You know how in a lot of, uh, like, ancient art it will have like a central figure with things relative related to it spread around around it, it. Yeah. yeah that's kind of what this is um it is a crude carving of bricks and with above it kind of like a uh puppet master hand and all around it are what he has seen or what he thinks his magic has done. So he's it, making a tombstone. In, in a way, yeah. So a lot of it's like, you know, he thinks he killed Tarnak, so Tarnak is on there. Uh Albert and his death to the Water Weird 
Um, uh, 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 almost forgot about that. <laughs> just his head in a bucket. Yeah. Uh, Tarnak, <laughs> it's it's Tarnax falling. Uh, Albert with with his head in a bucket with a water weird like above it. Uh, there are people cut in half. Like there are people inside out. Uh, there's a picture of Minthro getting attacked by goblins. There's just mural upon mural of the many deaths that he thinks or he knows that he has caused. And it's it's just him carving away at that. Just adding more and more on to the point to where it is, you know, crowded and, you know, if, like, you try to follow it right, and it's just a sprawling mess of different you know, horrible, horrible things. So. Hey, buddy. Uh-huh. How you doing? <laughs> Kids, can we lighten the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> Bricks is not in a good place that? right now. So yeah, that's what Brix is doing up in the surface. Yep. Fucking dying of emotional distress. Yep. Emotional damage. <laughs> Downstairs, RB and uh Alwyn. After discussing the door, what exactly are you guys up to? RB's trying to do an arm fire, but it just sounds like metal grinding on metal. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job there, Arby. Have fun, buddy. Um, I'm going to head upstairs real quick. Make sure Mint doesn't get into any trouble. If you guys do yell, I'm sure someone will hear it. Preferably one of us. Understood. And, I will sound uh, off with arm part. I, I, an actual yell would probably be better. Uh, I'll I'll be back, and I was just gonna start heading upstairs. You know, I will play '80s um, fax machine. Okay. Oh God, '80s, not even '90s fax machine. Holy. God. <laughs> yeah, the more glitchy sounding one. Okay. God. So yeah. Right. You come upstairs. Yes. Um, you uh, come back up, uh, hearing the creak of each staircase as you uh, climb back up under your heavy form. You flip over the uh, top of the uh, hatch inside this uh, tree workhouse. Uh, the two, well, previous slaves are let out so that. Uh, you know, you can get through and up and out and see uh, the outside. Fair enough. Okay. Um. Uh, Bricks. Bricks, you uh, you out here anywhere? Uh, looking around <laughs> for him. You watch, like so, like the reverse of the Simpsons meme, is just <laughs> Bricks's head slowly coming out of this bush. And it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just his eyes are bloodshot, and his face is sunken in. Um, uh, Bricks, you're not looking too hot. Dude, let's go find some water for you, uh, real quick, just in just in case anything happens. Bricks is you can take a. You can take a uh, two or not two hours. It's like a ten minute walk over to the river um, that uh, you hid the other slaves by. What's downstairs? Um. Well, there's a there's a work table and a door leading to somewhere deeper underground. So, and... Is it a safe spot. Um, outside the door where we are right now, yes, as far as we know, nothing's happened yet, at least, but 
Mint's not really in the right place to be doing anything right now, and so I think it would be better if we just don't go in yet. Well, as long as it's safe. And just the rest of his body comes out, and you you see, like, the back of the tablet he's holding as he puts it into his bag. <laughs> All right. That... Uh, he Bricks pops his head inside the tree, and he lets the two note that downstairs is a bit safer and open. So if they want to go down there, they can. Um, yeah. Uh, they both nod and um, head down along with uh, uh, all the rations that you gave them. Yeah, they both. Everyone has. Every one of the slaves has two days worth of rations. Yeah. Um, with today's rations already covered. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think bricks would start heading towards the river. More specifically, in the direction of where the other three are hidden at. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but we're gonna yeah, you, we're gonna head that way just in case. You take a small jaunt over to this uh, uh the bluffs next to the river to first check upon the uh two twins uh and I believe you also said you sent the dwarf over here as well. Yes. Um, they are once again in the same kind of hiding spots that you first found the, for them they are uh, very poor hiding spots but uh, better than nothing yeah i think as we get there bricks just kind of leans his head in okay i think i think we have a better spot for you guys less likely to get found do i see bubba cuz I, I left bubba with him Bubba is here. Okay. Yeah, so Bubba would probably just, like, fly over and land on Bricks' back. I think we have a better spot for you guys. Just give us a minute to grab some of the water here, and then follow us back. Yeah. Uh, is the water yeah, here clean? So. Um, it's... It's polluted a little bit. I mean, it's not like... It's unusable for you. It's uh, war but polluted. It's definitely. <laughs> it's, it's, in it's other words, yeah. in other words, uh, there's a faint scent of iron from uh, desiccated bodies left upriver. Okay, yeah, but it's, but it's, it, but it's it, not. It, it's not bad enough that bricks would have an issue. Yeah, from yeah. probably. Not. Okay, yeah. it's like. It's like bad where it's like, yeah, you can tell it's probably not the best thing. Probably shouldn't drink it before doing anything to it. But, you know, other people still drink from it. So they're trying to keep it a little clean so their troops can drink is what I'm yeah. thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess we fill up the bucket and start leading these guys over to the tree. Yeah, with a bubble flying about, making sure that no goblins are in the area. Mm hmm. Well, can you. Uh, what's Bubba's um, perception modifier? Uh, it's the same as an owl's, right? Yeah, we. Yeah, it's the same as an owl's. Uh, and I think it's because it is an owl's, he has advantage on the check. Um, I like Q. So, I have a quick question. A little uh, huh. that has nothing to do with D and D, right? What's you up? guys been see, you guys been seeing the memes recently? The the because I'm a fan of like cursed and blurst memes, right? Oh, great. Um, oh no! And the current uh like meme format to do right now is taking a picture of an anime girl or like making a picture of an anime girl that looks like Jeff the killer or like the troll face when you like glance past it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. It's so, it's uh, so yes, funny. 
Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, I'll just roll for him. Uh, okay. Gets advantage. Okay. Same number, but, you know, good enough. Da-da-da. So, yeah. Um, you do see a small... De- like a small detachment of goblins, but maybe a scouting party to really kind of see what that huge thunderclap earlier was. Mm. Um, they are just coming around that uh, large tree that uh, now has a new grave in front of it, as well as the dead bodies of many goblins and mm. a cart still lying there. So. Okay, but they're kind of far uh, off. Be so. reasonable to believe that uh, this is going to draw the attention of a larger detachment. Say that again. It might draw the attention of a uh, larger attachment of uh, goblins. Okay, but they're not exactly close to where we're at. Uh, correct. Okay. You should be fine to head over to the workshop. All right. So yeah, we'll. We'll head in that direction, get them, get the rest of the slaves filed down before we ourselves head down and lock up, like shut and lock everything. Okay. Can I have you all roll stealth checks? Oh, yay. I'm so sorry. Hey, so my cloak, can I stand next to trees while I, with my cloak on while I make this stealth check? Yeah, you can have it roll with... Uh advantage well i well, guess it's just normal a roll. roll flat for you <laughs> just a yeah. normal roll yeah <laughs> i'm also popping that to get a flat roll mm, good one 18 uh, slave number one slave number two slave number three wow <laughs> damn it all the way I, you know what? Ow. That's just impressive. Like, straight up. That's just impressive. God fucking damn it, you rat bastard. <laughs> Roll zero. What do you want from this, me? This... <laughs> it's not even on the dice. Um, yeah, <laughs> no. <my> <laughs> yeah, no. Combat not sneaking. <laughs> Alwyn clunks heavy towards the, um, uh, towards the workshop. Nothing comes of it right now, as far as you're aware of. Um, Bubba does see some excitement stir from uh, the um, the goblins. Uh, in fact, I think as a result of this zero, they're kind of looking around up and around and actually see Bubba and start taking pot shots. We'll say there's three of them. Well, a five isn't going to do it. No. Neither is a nine, I don't think. No, nine it, it, plus. I think it's an AC. Or... Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and that's just a straight up two, so. Well, d and AC is 11. Yep. Cool. Okay. So... Yep. No. Uh, three arrows fly by Bubba as a. Uh, he probably would tuck himself down into the trees as yeah. you hurry along into the uh, workshop. Yeah, I think once, like, knowing that, uh, once everybody else is inside, Rix is going to ask Bubba to kind of stay, in, like, above this tree, like, in the in the branches and keep an eye out to see if any goblins, like, um. start trying to get into the tree. So everyone's okay. inside the shop, right? Yeah. Um, they're not inside the shop. You assume that they're down underneath it in the well, cavern. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So. So as you first enter into the workshop, no, nobody is in there. Okay. So. Per question. Hmm. Alwyn kind of being clunky, right? My man wants to uh, stay up. He's going to try and stay up top. And once everyone's like out of view, like all the, the slaves and stuff are out of view, uh, he's going to like 
take he's gonna take his helmet off and kind of just wander around the shop as like an undead. Well, to, uh... keep in mind the upper shop okay. is just it, it it's a tree trunk. No, I just mean like on the outside. I mean, I should say that the shop is fairly small for you, like incredibly small for you. <laughs> like it basically be standing and walking in a circle. No, I mean outside even, yeah. outside of the shop, not inside the shop. Oh, okay. Outside of the shop, just to kind of like look so like if just goblins do come by. Them. Yeah, if goblins do come by, they're like, oh, it's an un. That's what that noise was, an undead wandering the woods. You know they're probably gonna kill you, right? That's a good point. It is a holy war. You also have not had a uh, long rest yet. I was going to ask about that, yeah, because I can do mine in four hours. So if I really need to... I can... Yeah, but you still haven't had that four-hour rest. I know. There's long rest buttons on here? Yo, yeah, they what? just added those. Yep. Okay, I was like, how did I miss that? I know. I was like, I look at the fucking lay on hands and channel divinity all the time. There's no way I missed that. Yeah, no, they just added that. Okay, um, okay. Well, shit. Hmm. So, so are you gonna be outside or not? Because you I, you would have noticed Bricks talking to Bubba before Bubba flew flew up into the tree, so you know that there's a guard up there. That's true. Plus, I mean, I also don't want to. I don't have like, you know, a little meta gaming. I. I as a character, I know I don't have Tavern Fighter. As Alwyn, he knows the shit he uses is not meant for fighting in, like, enclosed spaces, let alone enclosed spaces meant for fairies. <laughs> meant to be, like, a large building for fairies, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, fighting indoors I would be a bad idea for him in the first place if we do get into a fight. I mean, I think, I think at this point we have enough going for us Indoors. that we can actually like we're not going to obviously be fully relaxed but it's better than you know i don't like him humming that means he's moving shit around the board um i mean it's Aaron. just 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 block it out and know that whatever's coming is coming um well okay so i think i'm gonna shoot for trying to get a long rest inside the shop at least well i know i know bricks like after we get the slaves down there, after Bubba's upstairs, he's gonna look at you and just go, I need to have a discussion with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dad. <laughs> Swear it wasn't me. So I'm, guess I'm guessing, like, we're inside the tree trunk, and you just put the bucket down, bricks without preamble, gets in it, and he's just, he's just from the bucket is just staring at you. Well, look, I know the last, what, what has it been, day and a half? Oh God, it's only been a day and a half. Um, they've been strained, to say the least. When it came down to it. We need. I needed to come to terms with the things that have happened. What you did with that one dude on the side of the road was reprehensible to me. Side of the road. The the one other dude from your backstory, the one oh, that came up. Oh yeah. yeah, Captain Dirk. Dirk, that's yeah. his name. Old Dirk. Old Dirk. Yeah. 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 That. What you did to him was reprehensible to me, but from what little I know, I should have known that something like that should have, was going to happen. Now, I am not condoning it. I am not... What's the other word? Saying it was right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying it was right or wrong. But what you do is what you do. However, I would like to ask why. 
Oh, that is a good question. So I feel the need I... to ask this so I know what to expect moving forward. Well, I don't remember much. Uh, as you probably could have told, could tell when I spoke to what was the this, uh, the dude's name? The half elf. Oh, what was his fucking name? It was the elf. It was uh. Oh, yeah. What was his name? Fuck. Huh? What was it? I can't remember. Oh. As uh, God. I'm looking through my notes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, God. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm trying to find it, Chief. Uh, His name sir I'm just trying to make a reference. Um. With, uh, <laughs> give me a second. As you could tell, with the man we freed from the from his shackles by the tree after fighting the goblins, I don't remember much. But the things I do remember uh, are not the best, like the man back in town. As far as I can tell from my memory. His name was Radlar. He's the one that killed me in the first place. And he sent his cavalry down and uh, took me out along with who we were fighting. Um, we never got along. He, I, apparently. Uh, so there will be a few that we may run into that might not like me either. You know, when it comes to war, you may have to make certain decisions, and they're not always correct. And it tends to lead to aching hearts and family members and others who don't find see you in a very good light. And if they wish to try and take me out, then I will take them out as well. Rick's just, he's hes just kind of like half floating there as he's looking at you. You watch as his eyes kind of close. And before they open again and he looks at you. I have seen a lot of death. I have caused a lot of death. And as he's saying that, he's actually like reaching into his bag and hes he holds out the tablet. Same Z's, twins, twin Z's. <laughs> Killed a lot of people. Twinning. 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 But, Let's but no, go. He, he's holding out the tablet to you. And like as Alwyn is looking over it, like Brix is the central figure and, and he's probably about an inch tall. And out of the entire rest of this good like 10 by 6 inch tablet is just half inch to inch tall figures in you know, some very horrible de depictions of death and dismemberment and, you know, things you would not wish on your worst enemy. That's what you think. <laughs> I've caused all of these. Whether I want to or not. And I'm looking over it. I wonder if I can recognize anything off of the pictures. <laughs> Off of the the tapestry, not tapestry. That's cloth. I mean, off of the thing. I wonder. You, the ones you would recognize that I I could guarantee you would recognize. You would recognize Tarnak and him falling into the abyss. That's funny. Okay, that one was funny though. <laughs> to us, yes. Watch to Bricks, no. Watch this, young. Watch this, youngins. <laughs> well, you have to understand, right? Bricks was not there when he fell. Yeah. No, you were not. Bri Bricks was off looking for other shit because he was just like, you know, oh, you guys will get over fine. So he does not know what happened. He just knows that Tarnak fell and automatically assumed it was his fault in some way. Then you then also Al have seen Albert. Albert. You also uh, do see a picture of uh, Minthro next to another person that you don't recognize being attacked by a horde of goblins. 
Those are the ones that I can guarantee that you would recognize off the bat. Well, small one. It, I understand. You've been through a lot as well. You've taken it in strides better than I may have. I mean, you're still a good person. I won't say I'm a good person, because I'm not. But I, the things you do, accidental, I assume. The things I do are not such. The things I may do will not be such. And it's due to certain things that I may have been able to change. And I understand that you have gone through th things that you also believe you may have been able to change if done, if things happen differently. But... Anyway. Yes, Young Bricks. I know you choose how you wish. I do not wish to take choice from others, as I have these, as he points at the, at the, tablet. At, at the tablet. All I, you said yourself, you don't remember much. How yes. can you be judge and jury? when you don't have all the facts. Well, that's exactly why I let insert name here uh, go. I He was a medical... I part cannot of the seem to find it. Damn. Damn. <laughs> he was a part of the... It started with an F, right? An F? We're thinking T. I'm thinking... T. Th uh, and... Uh, fuck it. We'll call him Thalric for right now because I can't Thalric. seem to find. I mean, wherever my notes page was. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can easily go find it here in a minute. I can just pull up the, like last week's video. Um. Yeah. <laughs> but he was a part of the medical corps. All I remember is him possibly not being too fond of me, due to me putting more people under his care, with choices I made. But, as far as I know, he had nothing to do with it, with what happened to me. So, he's off my radar, unless new knowledge comes to, comes to mind, or unless something new happens. Radlar, the one that was in town, in the parade, he, I know for a fact, was the main reason for how I am now. The one in the woods, uh, may have lost my temper a little. But he, the terms of the duel were to the death. He didn't finish it, but I didn't finish it either. For the reasons of, he did, as far as I know, he did nothing. He was just upset for the things that I had done. I try not to take the lives of those who did nothing to me, unless in certain circumstances, as you may know. But if someone wishes to attack which is to try and take my life from me, I will take theirs. If they did something to me in the past, I will take theirs. Otherwise, I'll stay out of it. I may not be a good person, but I do still have some morals. Brix's eyes are closed again. Seemingly to contemplate everything. He, op he opens them again to look at you, and he simply says, just next time, please, for the love of God, let us know. I don't think we can go back to Hearthstone at this point. Because now That's the entire Adventurer's fine. Guild is after not over not only you, but the rest of us for trying to attack somebody high up in their order. Oh, I did. Oh, someone. <laughs> I didn't want to attack him right then and there. That would have been stupid. But, I did get caught, and I ran, so I completely understand where you're coming from. He's, he's just kind of sitting there, like, obviously he's, he's contemplating shit, but he's also just basking in the fact that he's in water. <laughs> ah, thank God's moisture! I mean, he was starting to prune. Yeah, yeah. Um, though, Brooks, I do have one question. 
My man became a raisin. <laughs> he Bricks opens his eyes. So, Bricks, my question, and please don't take offense to this. If it is true, then, or even possibly true, don't blame yourself for anything. But would it, there be a chance that what I am now is because of some wonkiness that may have come from you? Hey, Aaron. Yeah? At, at, can I roll something to see if, like, at any point, Brix has done anything like this? I have, I have no... Yeah, go ahead and roll me a, uh... Uh, a, uh, what's it called? Intelligence, that's the word. Intelligence tech. Um... I have, I have no notes on a, like a death location so that doesn't so 11 11 and a 16 a disadvantage nope, you're disadvantage yeah 11 to your recollection you never raise the dead but you do know for certain that there are a lot of procs that you have no clue what's happened bricks kind of sits there and thinks for a minute and it's just like I don't know. A lot of things have happened that, like, a lot of... We have experienced many times where I have glowed and not known what has happened. Some things are obvious, some things are not. So, I could have caused this. It's not something I can tell with a certainty. Understandable. Though, I will say, it was. I just wanted to ask if it was even possible on your end, but I will say that when I awoke, before I awoke, uh, from my impromptu grave, I'll say, they there was a voice, but, uh, you know, so I have no clue. I just know there was a voice before I awoke. You hear Brooks's voice get... Ice cold and sharp as a knife as he says this, these next words. Was it the voice of a child? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Um, can I have you roll me an intelligence check? I can. I can. I don't have disadvantage, so we'll see. <laughs> but intelligence is still one of my dump stacks. And I got a 12. I'll take it. Eight. It's vague to you, for obvious reasons, like you yeah. were dead, there's a lot of trauma there, you might have repressed it. But you do remember the voice being higher pitched, like it could have been a child or it could have been a woman's voice, uh, you're not certain, it just certainly wasn't a man's. Okay. Well, as for it being a child's voice, I can't say for certain. Higher pitched, yes. It was not a man of adult status, at most, but may have been a woman's. Who knows? I did ask its name, and I remember it telling me, but I don't remember what it told me. Bricks just sits there in contemplation. I think Ravel is a child. Oh, <laughs> that's I. I do believe it wasn't that one. I'm still not sure, but again, not a hundred percent. But Raville, I'm not sure. I don't think it was. Could have been. More than likely, was not. So whatever is going on, whatever is going on in our lives, potentially two different gods are at and at work here. So. More than likely, we're not connected. I just, but I wanted to check. Who oh, knows? I seem to be the wrench that Ravel has chucked into the works of the world. Fair enough. Plus, mine may have not even been a god. May have been some, lo some necromancer looking to try and add something to their collection and just didn't work out. At least, not in the way they thought. 
Hey, real quick, where is this conversation occurring? Upstairs. In the tree? Upstairs. Okay. Yeah. I think we're having it at a lower tone just so it doesn't carry down downstairs, but it's but yeah, it is happening upstairs. Yeah. Oh hey, goblins are breaking down the door. Unlucky. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh wow. Look at that. There's a spear in your chest. Hmm. How did I get there? <laughs> oh look, I've been impaled. Line, but... Oh <laughs> what is that meme? Hold on. Oh, it's fucking uh frozen. frozen yeah. <laughs> look at that, I've been impaled, huh? Yeah. Mm. But yeah, no, so Bricks is sitting there. Can I... this also be a, a part of uh my long rest at least? Uh I'm just gonna rule it as this whole uh uh in this whole like encounter is just part of your long rest. Yeah, like nice. this. We're we're in the process of a long rest. This is just kind of like the you know early part where we're having discussions and you know not really doing much. Uh, I think I've had two interactions with him since I was given this. One. One was that night in the other dungeon. Where I pissed off a god. Where I heard a child say, Do you want to play a game? And then another time earlier today, where I heard an, a voice ask, Is that what you think it looks like? I don't know what his plan for me is. Or if he isn't, even has one, he's a god of fucking chaos. For all I know, he's just doing what he thinks is fun. That's fair. The only voice I've heard since being awake is uh, the one from my new guide, I'll say, from the last dungeon we were in, back at the wizard's home. Brooks looks at you confused before it dawns on him. He's just like, wait a minute. Oh, shit. <laughs> My bad. I probably shouldn't have said that. What did you do? Well, you remember the wraith we ran into? Yeah. I didn't want to give up any memories or anything like that. What few ones I do have of my past. Because uh, the happy memories are the ones he was shooting for. So I may or may not have made a pact with him. You watch as Brooks's head disappear and you just hear a thunk inside the bucket. To be fair, our our goals do kind of intertwine with each other. What he looks for is already something I go for as is in some fashion. His head hasn't resurfaced. He's still unspitefully immersed in the bucket. <laughs> Understandable. His head finally emerges after a good five minutes. I hear Aaron rolling dice, and that's scary. Um, Is that what that noise was? Yes. Mm. Maybe. You don't know. <laughs> Aaron, don't with me. Just don't. I, it was I know that. A needed move. It was actually a needed eraser, Chief. Uh, uh huh. Um. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I to I totally believe the DM. Yeah. Um. So you now have a pact with that thing. Small one, but yes. You just watch his eye start to twitch. Do we need to be afraid of this new pact of yours? No, no. Uh, the only time he's ever directly asked me to do something was when I was already going to do it anyway. Just, you know, with extra steps. Stare. <laughs> 
you can roll a insight if you'd like, and Alwyn, you can roll uh, either um, persuasion or uh, deception, whichever applies. Nine. Whatever applies. There we go. So I I suggest. Okay, <laughs> I mean that works too, but I, I mean, I'm next not lying. time suggest. Yeah, fair. But next time I suggest probably just uh, typing it in because we can see persuasion labeled underneath. Oh, okay. You guys are allowed to lie to each other. You don't have to be completely honest. Fair. Well, yeah. Okay. So yeah, he just he settles a little bit. All right. Did you leave Arby downstairs? Yes, he did. I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I I, I did. I asked. Uh, did you, did he did you leave Arby downstairs? I did. I told him to protect Mint. I did not think that went through. We should go downstairs. Probably. Probably. Can you pick out the bucket? I'm too. I'm too cozy in here. Of course. And he's just gonna pick up the bucket and start heading down the steps. All right. Hey, probably a good five minute uh, ladder ride down. Uh, you finally emerge at the bottom of this cavern, where again you see the large, imposing metal doors of the dungeon right before you, and yeah, you see Minthro in the corner and uh, Arby doing what. Arby does, which I don't know what is at this moment. <laughs> and four slaves. Arby's trying to put back together a really old chair because he tried sitting on it. <laughs> um, Try sitting on a fairy chair. Brooks is sitting there counting. That's the fifth one. Who's Great missing? question. Uh, under first glance, it's pretty easy to surmise that, uh, the elf is missing. I, I look over at the others. Where's the elf? Uh, the two, oh, sorry. The three, sorry, the three slaves that walked over with you both look confused as well. They don't seem to know, um, as well. But the half elf, I believe it was. Yeah. Might have been. Uh the half elf uh just pipes up and says, Oh, uh, yeah, he uh he left. Twitch, twitch. What do you mean he left? Well, he thought he fared better on his own out there. I didn't try and stop him. He's well, got his own reasons. I, it's not my job to take care of him. Brooks's head disappears, and you just hear a thunk inside the bucket again. Well, let's hope he doesn't tell the goblins where we are. Oh, boy. If he does, don't worry, I'll take care of him. Just a stone-grinding slow turn to look at you. We just had this conversation, Bricks. Brooks heaves a sigh before nodding and just kind of slumps into the bucket. Yeah. Uh, he left a letter, if that's what you're looking for. He holds it out. Brooks kind of reaches out for it. What does it uh, say? Do you open it up? Yep. Uh, yeah, it says... Um, dear Alwyn, I do not regret any of my actions and acted in the most righteous way I thought possible. If you do, in fact, seek to have me dead, you are more than allowed to come and find me. But by the time you receive this note, I fear that I will be much further away. Chatterman 400, thank you for the follow. I warn you that I did not act without cause. That harpy of a woman 
led you astray. Hmm. Man. Someone, people just really like signing their death sentences, don't they? I mean, Bricks is the one that has this letter currently. Yeah, I know. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, okay. okay don't fall in. <laughs> or do. Whatever you're into. Bricks just closes the letter, puts it in his backpack. Uh, Bricks, what did the letter say? Uh, he felt it was better for him to leave and that he has no intentions of uh, telling the goblin, like, even if the goblins catch him where we are. You scared him a lot. Uh, I tend to do that. <laughs> uh, can I? Can I see? Would Alan even have a reason to not believe him? At this point, That's yeah. Can I? Can I roll for uh? What would that be? Insight. Yep. And uh, go ahead and roll deception. Thirteen. Six. Oof. Yeah, Alwyn. There. He didn't seem scared. Well, he seemed scared of you. That that part seems to be at least true. Yeah. But you're not sure if that's entirely what the letter says. I mean, it's clear to you that uh, Bricks, if if Bricks was genuinely like not, if he was going to paraphrase this, he would have just handed it to you. At least that's been his mo for the past, like month that you've been together the past yeah. almost two months yeah so you feel that he's not telling you everything completely huh well bricks are, are you sure that he said he wouldn't tell the goblins anything or are you just saying that because you assume he won't. You watch as Bricks just sits there for a moment and he is staring at you. What kind of body language are you giving off right now? Murderous like a, I want to read the fucking letter type body language. Bricks is just staring at you. And, and it's like a solid minute of just him staring at you. Before he just heaves a sigh and he's just like, "Just don't go running after him." As as he hands you the letter. Read the letter. Ah, I see. Hmm. Well, Alwyn's gonna hand the letter back to Bricks. I won't go running off. We have things to do here. We're in the middle of something. If you oh. come across him, you're fair to do whatever you want. I just... Oh, of course. I don't... I, I just don't want to be stranded here. Oh, 100%. I completely understand. But if we do run into him, just know something may happen. I'm not too... I don't take kindly to people talking such a way about... I'm assuming my wife in this case. Or ex-wife now, I guess. Your widow. Whoa. Looks over at the slaves. See if any of them notice him say that. I mean... Let's not that <laughs> I, I think, like... Now. I think the dwarf winces as if... Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like... I mean, that could be... That could be categorized as many different ways. Like... Like, you also have to remember, he's exhausted, so he's not thinking straight. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, bricks. Can we keep it down a little on the widow part? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I this guy's an asshole. As far as I know, she may also be dead, but just in case she's not, I don't want any of them, you know, figuring anything out. It's been a long day. I understand. I understand. I missed water. Oh, tell me about it. He's just sinking into the bucket. 
You know, it's been quite a while since I've been, since I've even drank water. Now that I think about it. You don't want to drink this water. Oh, I know. Um, but yeah, just, he's really, uh, worried about, he was really worried about them picking up on anything there. The dwarf wins, he's like, oh, damn, what a prick, why would you say that? <laughs> God, what an asshole. <laughs> oh, bringing up the fact, you know, he was, he tried to, he tried to put it gently, saying my, his ex-wife, man, that guy was like, oh, you mean the one that's dead? Ha <laughs> ha. Yo, mama, dead as hell. <laughs> Frix, Frix lo looks over to RB. What exactly are, is RB up to at this point? At, at the, in the bathroom. Oh, sorry, he did say he was going to do that. I forgot. <laughs> A lot of stuff is going on. Uh, so, let's see. Dealt with that, dealt with that. Uh, Aaron, you gonna... <laughs> Chaos Brock at some point in this. I guess might as well, since it's gonna be gone by the end of the session, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, I guess you guys could enter the dungeon, at least the first room or so. Yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, like... That's... Oh, that would be after the long rest, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, it would be. Yeah. Like, I think we're about to, like, kind of chill out for a long rest and then uh, start to figure out the next bit. Yep. So. 5189. Did I hear somebody ask what Arby's doing? Yes, I did. Yeah, what is Arby up to? So he tried sitting in a chair and he broke it. He's trying to fix it by putting it back together like a puzzle piece. <laughs> forgetting he knows that knows mending. <laughs> it just keeps falling apart on him. It's just like a, a fucking uh, Lego tower. Or like a building block tower. You no, know, like... it's like cards. You know how you stack your cards in a pyramid? Yep. And it just keeps falling on. So, who's the target? I think in this kind of resting case, I think Bricks would probably be the target. Alright, well, um, who has the most hit points out of the all of you? Current or max hit points? Max. I think that's all win. Arby, what are you at? 50. Okay, thank God he beats me by one. <laughs> beats by one? You, I have 49. Let's go. I have 32. Hey, Bricks. Uh, yeah. You have the sudden urge to befriend the toughest and most dangerous creature you can see, which right now is Arby. <laughs> Fitting. <laughs> Toughest and most dangerous. Let's be honest here. All right. Dangerous in what way? Dangerous is in gonna get other people killed, or dangerous in gonna kill other people. <laughs> I guess that is learning that he can kill things. Last session. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your strength and con? My strength and con. Yeah. Strength, strength and con are both plus two. So, 14, 13? Yeah, but I can do magical missile at level three. That is true. That is true. I think that's why he went HP. Yeah, um, that's fair. That's fair, that's fair. So, yeah. Arby, as you're doing that, you just hear, like, uh, the sound... It's almost like a scooching chair, but followed by the sound of uh, water splashing. And you, you, you look over, see Brick staring at you. He notices, covers his eyes, and like goes down to the fucking water. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like okay, that. Anime girl that met, met her, um, her crush. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, you need help, some help you, there. What'd you say? You need some help there. Maybe I'm having a difficult time trying to set this together. He watches bricks just kind of slowly leans over and grabs onto it after you've kind of put it up, put it together. 
and he casts Mending. Thank you. You're welcome. He just Harvey kinda... stands up and starts trying to walk away. He just slowly sinks into the bucket. <laughs> and, you... <laughs> and you notice some slight steam coming off the bucket. Arby picks up a book, he goes to try to open it, but he tears a page out. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> As you do, yes. Yep. The, the, hold on. Would Arby know how to read properly? Like, Yes, he would. Um, Arby, no... Knowing what common know? is also being able to read common as well. Well, what language are these books in? Are they in common? Yeah, they would be. I mean, okay. that or Sylvan. Sylvan. Fey isn't a la uh, Fey isn't a language, but uh, yeah. Sylvan is, which is the language that the Fey speak. Yep. Yeah, I have no idea about that language, but yeah. I was going to sit here and try to read this book. What is this book about? This one is about gears. Specifically, oh God, it's right. about it's specifically about gear ratios. And bro, stop! You're giving me PTSD. Stop. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I won't go into <laughs> this. Arby's reading it out loud like a bedtime story. Fucking gear ratios, my God. One zero 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 one zero zero one one zero 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 one one zero zero. I bro, I hate gear ratios so fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Arb is gonna try to find a book that he's gonna read out loud while everybody tries to take a nap. <laughs> and that's what he's pretty much going to be doing for the long rest. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, D&D &D Beyond, why are you so slow? It's not slow for me. It's we such get a it! Website. You got Google <laughs> Fiber! Look, he lives in bumfuck nowhere. Give him a break. <laughs> that is true. You live next to a Dairy Queen. Hmm. Uh, Aaron, do I have any any dreams as this night goes on? Uh, cha cha cha. Oh, we're already to uh sleeping now. I I, I think yeah, we're kind of in the process of the actual long rest at this point. Oh, After fixing a chair, right. Arby finds a book and starts reading. Are you gonna try and sit in the chair again? That is definitely not made for someone your size. No, just walk. Yeah, probably, but it's gonna crack under his weight. But watch Aaron just send over a big old paragraph for me to sit here and read. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna send you a link to a Barnes and Noble book that is all about gear ratios. Perfect. You just hear Alwyn over there wincing, crouched in the corner, scared. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's a small crunch as he tries to sit down in a like a chair that would be the size of for dolls to most people yeah all right so uh what's the uh party order looking like is uh anybody doing anything in particular i mean i know that rix is sleeping yes and uh arby is reading alwyn's chilling what's... at the door okay so, which door? Are you talking about the big metal one, or the um, one at the uh, beginning the of the one stairs? That, the one at the big, like, that leads or... into where we're at. Okay. Not yeah. the one leading into the dungeon, the one leading to the room we're currently in. 
The one we came okay. to down here. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so uh Bricks. As you close your tired eyes after a very, very long well, twenty-four hours. Uh, traveling through hell, getting all the way to this village to fight goblins and investigating uh, Minthro's shack. You close your eyes. That, You're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, you close your eyes and just let sleep overtake you. Uh, go ahead and can you describe what life was like back at home before you really were a magical creature per se? Um, bricks came from a bit of a tribal area, um, kind of along the side of a lake, probably close to the edge of a cliff. Um, Bricks probably grew up, you know, alongside a lot of others that were axolotl or uh, salamander, uh, lizard folk, and mm -hmm. he he would have been, you know, that kid that you know he 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 would have been the one that you know would have seen two adults fighting and walked up with a flower in his hand and went to hand it to the two. Right. Mm -hmm. That really, you know, dumb, happy go lucky naivete. Um he was he was always the one that, you know, a lot of the adults would have gone and, you know, like said would have kind of praised to their face, but also would have been like, What is wrong with that kid? He is not all there. That kid's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. That kid's gonna and he would have had like one or two friends, but not not really like a best friend or anything like that. He he would have been like kind of floating along friend groups almost. You know, one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, Bricks, you're taken back to the uh, cliff sides uh, that you used to walk around and play with uh, your friends. And this is a strange memory. Very strange, in fact, because, well, as we all know, bricks, you got spots, right? You, you're you yep. speckled. Yep, I am... I, on one half of my body, I am, you know, a lot, like, almost completely black, and on one half, almost completely pink, with speckling of the other color throughout the rest of it. Yeah. Um, in this memory, you're not. <laughs> Oddly enough, you're not speckled. You're just completely pink. All the way through. And you feel yourself just enjoying the days out there until you come across one night in particular. Uh, a night that's, well really a terrible storm came through it, it not uncommon this is basically the swamps of um the uh western portion of this continent it's there would be storms like this uh although this one was real bad i think you remember quite a few of your family members and your friends and their families, a lot of their shelters were really torn apart after this one. Mm -hmm. But somehow your, your home, your little hut, uh, managed to stay completely unscathed. And not even a branch was really out of place. Uh, you just... You don't know why. But from that night on, you also had spots. Nobody really questioned it. And neither did you. 
and thought it was just a part of life. And as he grew older, it started to come with powers. You don't really think about this night very often because it, it's fairly inconsequential. But when you think harder about it, you remember being so scared that night. You remember praying to anyone promising anything to keep you and your family safe. So yeah, that's your dream. Oh god. Um Arby, as you're reading, you you don't necessarily sleep or really power down in the traditional ways but you do i don't know kind of be enthralled as if set into a trance and anybody who looks at him will see his screen flicker on and off quite a bit actually um flipping through different kinds of emoticons winks smiley faces frowny faces uh really anything that uh, can be typed out with a colon or a parenthesis, pretty much. Um, but no, in fact, it, it gets a bit stranger as while you would see just normal emoticons now, they start to flicker in between symbols that you don't really recognize. And this would basically just be maybe Minthro, but definitely Alwyn noticing that uh, Arby's screen flickers in between a lot of celestial symbols. None of which are really known to you, if I remember correctly. You don't know any celestial nope. um, texts. So, yeah. Arby, you're in this trance, just looking through the text as it all seems to blend together and almost pantomiming the idea of sleep, you find yourself in a memory. Oh, yay. Fun. It's not, like, clear. In fact, I think a lot of it is just... Almost as if you were going through your um, <clears throat> setting up a, uh, a, uh, a computer where you have to install an OS and stuff like that. It, you find yourself looking through texts and um, for the most part, they seem normal, like stuff like walk right, walk left, um, arm up 80 degrees uh, and all these instructions on how you normally operate. But that's kind of odd, especially considering that that's not really how you see yourself functioning, right? You, you see yourself functioning by what? Like actually moving pantomiming. It's not like, uh, it's not like following strings of words. At least that's not how it feels to you. But I think it becomes more prevalent when you start to see some images. Uh, a little window pops up showing you camera operations um, as everything flickers into black and white and you see a small man uh, Seem to be working on your cameras. Uh, he's, well, a very frail man. And as he works, you just sit there and watch. Uh, your internal sensors are marking the time. It's been, oh, you see about, oh, goodness, probably about a good... 900 years since the operation system says you've been online. It's been a long time. And this man continues to work away, tapping at 
to various parts of your body and, and you see that eventually he puts that camera into a large metal suit and it, it seems incredibly big compared to him and as he plugs everything in you feel yourself come back online fully the, the camera's colors correct and uh you can move extremities although your first thing that you do is punch a hole in the wall by accident and then a small little glitch you can your only operation signaled is a winky face before you're shut back down again it goes on like this for a next like three months before you're kind of just snapped out of that trance and you're looking at a book once more. Harvey continues reading the book like nothing happened, hoping that nobody, like, has suspected a thing. And, but as he's reading it, he's going to be thinking about that memory, trying to hold it. You said 900 years? Yep. Jeez, how old is RB? I know for a fact 900 years is not what it is. He's old. Apparently. <laughs> but yeah, he's just gonna be thinking about it. Trying to figure out some parts of it. Try memorizing this guy's face more and more. Trying to remember more details of him. As he just continues to read this book out loud. Hoping it, su hoping it suits people Thank to sleep. You. Yeah. But you try anyways. Yeah. Who said thank you? All right, that probably was my mom. Anyways, um, uh, cha 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 cha. So yeah, you all have completed a long rest. Nice. Yeah. Hey, Aaron. Y yes. As I wake survive. up, is there a film of blood along the top of the water? <laughs> A film of blood. Yeah. Um, no, there's not like a film of blood. In fact, I believe blood kind of coagulates into clumps if In it's water. sitting on top yeah. of water. Yeah, that's and just that's kind of floats is. freely because it has a um, because it has a similar density to water. I think. And then you also see um, strands of proteins oxygen. and stuff hanging down into the water. It looks kind of like a jellyfish. Yeah, okay. it just it, it starts breaking down. Yeah, yeah. Because it's ox, you know, it's getting well. I mean, either it's, way, it's the gross. Blood form of rust <laughs> yeah, and the blood form of rust. So yeah, Bricks just he kind of wakes up. He takes a look around, sees all the shit like hanging around in the water, and he's just like, uh, and just kind of crawls his way out of the bucket, and just starts to press press the dictation himself. I hate, yeah, I hate sleeping basically, in water. basically like a blow dryer. You're just pointing at yourself, and wind washes away any of the uh, excess water. I hate blood water. I hate blood water. Ugh. So yeah, how are the uh, slaves, ex slaves, doing? Slaves. Most of them are. Catch, Still yeah. asleep. Because <laughs> they haven't slept in a while. Yeah, fair enough. Arby's... Arby's gonna sit there and go 90s fax machine out loud right in the middle of the room. Is that how Arby yawns? It's how he yawns, it's how he burps. Um, yeah. Basically Work. any involuntary action. Brooks just kind of yeah. sits there for a second and just kind of lists off, okay, they have two days of Because he wasn't... 
See, he wasn't programmed to have those functions, so it just it makes error noise. Happens. Um. Okay. Huh. I made a pack with the God of Chaos. Wonderful. Oh, Wonderful. What? <laughs> yeah, he says that out loud as he's just standing there. Hand, hands together, Aaron. Yeah, hands oh. together. You can't move your neck. Oh. <laughs> ah. Boys will be boys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> Christ, guys. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an inside joke. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah he, he said that out loud. The whole, you know, I made a pact with the god of chaos. As as he gets up. Oh, do we we just took the long rest, right? Yes. I want to test the button. I think all it does is it replenishes the health. hit die and health. And hit dice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let me check the spells That's actually. Fair. Yeah, it also replenishes the spells. Nice. Hey, can Harvey do something? Yeah. Go ahead. Um. All right. So what is all of the people sleeping wearing? Uh, I believe last time we basically, I think they're basically like potato sacks. Like, okay. it, like yeah, you described so it as literal thing. potato sacks with holes in it. Yeah, pretty much. Is there, is there anything? All right. Is there like some sort of stick? A string and like some sort of small orb or ring laying around? I mean, yeah, you can look for them. Uh, so actually, just start. roll me an investigation check. Actually, not the greatest at this, but let's see. Sixteen. That's not bad. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Oh, well then. Um. Ha cha cha cha, with that. Uh, you do find some of the objects that you intend to find. Uh, you find a rope and a ring, but something also catches your eye in the uh, south, uh, the southern wall of the building. There seems to be another entrance hidden behind this bookshelf that uh, Minthro's dad has put up. Arby's going to force the bookshelf out the way. All right, yes. It's a cleverly just concealed uh, doorway as it's this sturdy wooden door uh, painted almost like the cave wall. The only reason that you could kind of like tell is because it was just barely an off color. And in the darkness of this room, you probably never would have noticed it had you not been well, looking around this area to find specifically um, those items. You know what always... What'd you find over there, Arby? I found a hidden room. I just kind of look over at Alwyn. Well... Want to look at it while Min throws still power down? I, I I love how Aaron just stops me in my tracks by throwing in a hidden room. <laughs> my dude, yeah, you gonna... you searched for it. You found it. It, it was already there. Is that a a symbol? Ar Arby was gonna cast light onto a ring attached to a rope or a string, and he's gonna dangle it in front of all the sleeping people's faces to wake them up. Oh god. But yeah, I I look at all when uh do we wanna look at that and see what's going on there while uh Minthro is out. As well. Alright. 
we open the door. All right. You open the door to find very similar to the last, um, the last, what's it called? Um, bunker. Bunker that you were in. It's full of machinery that seems to be off at this point. There's nothing glowing or moving. It just seems to be dead quiet. And yeah, it seems to be mostly unoccupied. There's small like tables in the middle of the room, but besides that, they're nothing that you couldn't just, you know, move aside. Can who's the first one entering this area? Arby. Arby, cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. So anyway, you take fifty. You said fifty, right? Yeah, fifty points of damage. Uh. Arby, can I have you roll me a perception check? I am good at those with a plus seven. So seventeen, nice. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, what's this things? One eight, huh? Hmm. I'm worried. Yeah, no, you don't see anything. Yeah, this is a completely empty room to you. There is a door to the east and a door on the west wall right here and here i don't see anything uh top like if you scroll all the way out it's in the top middle guys i'm still looking at like the fancy detailed room oh refresh Thank you. Like when I was yeah, looking at we've, your, we've been was, on this room for a long time. Yeah, I was looking at the stream. I was like, "Huh, his looks different than mine," and I just completely forgot. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, I think. Uh, so. It's still loaded. And I'm zoomed in a hundred percent. <laughs> I assume help. Uh, I think Brooks will kind of wander his way in here. Um, so you said everything electronically is dead, right? Yeah. And uh, it seems that this room is encapsulated by a faint scent of sulfur. The oh, I... bottom of the... the the ground is made out of these linoleum tiles that have cracked and uh, basically fallen apart with age. It's very dark in here. N no light. Um, the, the only reason that you could see in the last one was, well, mainly because it was already lit up by the the door that has a small auxiliary light. Yeah. Uh, Brooks is going to pull out one of his torches and set it alight. All right. You set it alight, you say. Yep. Okay. Uh, with what RV tool? Uh, I think I have a flint and steel. Okay. Yeah. RP yeah, before I have, you I have, do I have a tinder RP. box. Um, okay. Before you do, oh. Arby runs up and touches the tip of your torch and uses um cantrip light on it. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So yeah. you got uh, you get to choose the color, color for that if you'd like. Hmm. Arby's gonna do a nice calming yellow. Mm, okay. It's a twenty foot radius, so it's ten feet. In dimension, but it says 20 foot radius, dim light. Uh, here, I'm just gonna put it in. Yeah, that's not gonna read in. There you go. 
Okay, so it's a 40-foot radial with 20 feet of bright, 20 feet of dim. Yes. So I, enca I encapsulate pretty much this entire room. Yes. Um, so yeah, the last time we were in one of these, we needed to flip a switch. And it turned everything on. So can I look around to see if there's one of those switches in here? Uh, last time you actually pulled the cord to a generator. Um, but right. yeah, you can look for something similar. Okay. Investigation? You sure do. All right. Tides to give you as many chaos procs as I want to give you. Uh... You get to roll with advantage now. Uh, I, I forgot to switch. Awesome. Away. Yeah, yay. <laughs> you know what? Six. Six. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything in this room that really looks like the same thing. You think that there is some, like, down in this corner? And as you pull on it, you realize that it does nothing. Yeah, Bricks is just sitting there pulling on it like the torch is in his mouth, and he's just pulling, and he's like, <laughs> Can Arby sit there and look for something to stick his um, jack. jack in? <laughs> yeah! Jack it in? Uh, yes, towards the eastern wall, there is a, a large cabinet-looking thing that seems to be full of, well... Still machinery. As you plug in, you realize that very quickly, since there is no power, there's nothing to really access. Oh my god, I forgot I had command. And I keep having these stupid thoughts for RB. Cast <laughs> command on it to turn on. He's just going to say on. <laughs> it does not turn. Oh, I'm not actually going to do Turn it. On. I believe commands get creature. Yeah. So. Yes, I know. Um, so I... can Arby sit there and to look for something that may or may not turn things on or cause a trap? Um. Yeah. Go ahead and roll me an investigation check. Alden, what are you doing while this is happening? Uh, 13. Um, yeah, no, uh, looks like pretty much everywhere is safe. Okay. I would probably just... First of all, I gotta move my character in there. I forgot to do that. Second of all, uh, I would probably just... Watching you guys try to figure this out. I mean, he's not the smartest, but he's just like, I'm sure, they got it. What's through this door no, like, next door, to me? Right? Huh? There's a door next to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah there's, there's, there's a door next to me here, and then there's a door here. So I'm, I'm wanting to know what the door next to me leads to. That leads to room. F okay. Yeah, it seems to be the just metal doors that uh, is very similar to the last ones you explored. Um, again, they require that uh, you pull a little crank, the, hydro the hydraulics would release, and the door would open. Granted, there's no way to close those kinds of doors until there's power. Yeah. I think but uh, grab onto the latch pull it and let the door swing open cool um on you hear a before i need you to roll a deck save oh no nine uh yeah looks like that's gonna hit so uh, well, on a fail, it means that I need to 
This is gonna hurt. Two hits. What's your AC? Thirteen, right? Thirteen. That's a plus ten to hit if it's triggered. Oh okay. Jesus! So that'll hit. Um, holy shit! Do 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 do. Sorry, I uh, completely zoned out. Don't worry. Why did um, I roll trying rolling? Uh, How much am I taking? <laughs> Bricks, as you pull this um, door, you hear <clears throat> before three little darts pop out of the wall. As you take 16 points of piercing damage, these darts shoot out from the wall right <laughs> next to you that you weren't looking at <laughs> oh god okay um and the door opens up arby's gonna run over and he is gonna where did it go i'm 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 fine i'm fine i'm fine Are you sure? I can heal you. And it'll it'll be all right. Now we know that these doors are trapped. I was not expecting that. Ow! At, like as he's saying that, he's like pulling. What what level were these uh, darts at? Uh, they were to a normal person, probably at their thigh. So to you, maybe into your chest. Yeah, like. They, yeah, they were hitting into my chest, so yeah, I'm just, like, pulling them out like you would, like, uh, cactus spines. And, so, what kind of darts are these? They seem to be made of a material you're not so certain of, but they're very light. Um, we would probably know them as fiberglass, um. With uh, oh god, <laughs> metal, metal tips and uh, fins, so they do have a sufficient amount of mass to really punch at you. Yeah, are they still usable? Uh, yeah, yeah. they probably be most fit to put them into. Um, they'd probably be most comparable to uh, uh heavy crossbow bolts. Okay. So let's see, I'm gonna add those three. Yeah, I just put those in as unknown heavy crossbow bolts. Okay. Uh the next room seems to be it's similar. It seems to be some kind of, well, almost like an alchemist's lab. There's a lot of tables, beakers, and all sorts of stuff currently in here. Although you can't quite see very far into it uh, without walking in. Um, there seems to be some sort of writing on the wall. It, although it's in that old celestial, you're not quite sure what it says. And the walls seem to be lined with books as well as cabinets full of beakers as well. May I roll investigation to look for more traps? Uh, sure can. Um, understand it'd be easier if you were inside the room. I know, uh, like, I'm kind of moving, I'm mostly checking, like, this area right here, like, just this general spot to make sure I don't trip anything else before I walk into the yep. room. Okay. Roll them bones. Where is that over there? 30 to 20. Yeah. Uh, look safe. There doesn't seem to be anything directly in front of you. Okay. So yeah, then I would kind of move more in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Again, this room is filled to the brim with beakers and other alchemic machines. Some that look 
well we've seen an alchemist use some of these there seems to be like a cabinet that has nothing in it it's just a big glass case with gloves sticking inside there's also these little like um cylindrical uh things that uh upon further examination they see that they spin we'd probably know them as centrifuges but yeah bricks uh, just kind of walks in and you two in the other room would hear him mutter what in the hells there's two more doors to the south uh there's one on the east side and the west side Can Arby try reading the um, Celestial? Yeah. Um, it's not even a question for you. It says, uh, Finde fell here. It seems to be not out of any kind of ink that you know. It seems to be, I don't know, like paint. But, you know... It's applied so quickly that it's splurted around the edges. Uh, it almost looks like, to us, graffiti, as if dispersed in an aerosol can. It said it says it said, Finde fell here." Yep. Like that's the name of the god, and it like it died in this location. How how is Fiende spelled? F-I-N-D-A. Oh, Finna? I'm Finda... Finda... <laughs> I'm Elder. Finda throw these hands. Okay. Finda fell here. It's in... I don't know if that... Oh. Look, let me look at the list of gods. I'm going to tell you real quick, you're not going to find a Finda on that list. No. Because <laughs> a, lo a lot of the gods' names are so are single syllable. Yeah. Raja. Like, it, it's a... It, the gods are monosymbolistic, and then the suffix is like the second syllable of their names most of the time. Uh... I'm going to grab one of the books and open it. It's in that old celestial. You cannot read it. Hey, Arby? Yes. You got a bunch of books in this language that you're able to read. I got tired of my reading. Say that again? So you're not tired of my reading. <laughs> not if you translate it real quick. I, I'm never tired of your reading whenever it's new things. Yeah. And like, as he's saying this, he's holding up the book as he's like looking around. Arby's going to take the book and first he's going to read the cover. Um... It, it has a couple words that really don't really resonate with you. Like, you you can read them. Like, you know what they say, but as for the meaning of them, it doesn't really make much sense. Like, what does, like, basics of biomechanical uh, integration even mean to... Arby. He he has no frame of reference. Says it out loud towards bricks. Bricks just turns and looks. Saying what now? Do you know what that means? No. Arby's gonna open it up and start reading out loud. Yeah, he's, it, gonna like, he's gonna read it in his head and then translate it into common for bricks. Okay, yeah. Um, it is 
very very dense scientific writing it is like for our perspective probably like a master's level class like uh like a like a 500 class yeah <laughs> it's, it's it's very difficult to parse through what it actually means there's some words that really don't make sense to you and it talks as if they're objects and really really small objects like um uh, like uh, to us like chemical components how they interact with each other it's i it, it's basically garbled garbage for anyone in this time to read yeah so it it's basically like a you know It'd be like me going off on a theoretical psychological science on a 10-year-old. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it all these words, phrases, and terms are just getting chucked about in this room, and Briggs is just slowly getting more and more confused. Okay. I know you're speaking common, but it still sounds like another language. I don't understand. I understand maybe one in 20 words you're saying. Do you wish for me to continue? I think we're good. Understood. I already closed the book and throws it over his shoulder. Out the door so it lands like... In front of the door, so Alwyn... Yeah, Alwyn just sees a book fly through the door and land. Dunk. What's Alwyn doing? Um, watch you, watch, he doesn't know what the fuck any of this means either. He's just watching you two fucking get through this shit. He's just like, uh... You, yeah, you're I... just kind of chilling, seeing if anything comes out to kill us. Yeah, he's like, I'm here to fight, you know, I'll fight something. I mean, um, I can't do this shit, though. This shit's, if, if Bricks is confused, I ain't got no chance. Yeah. So, you said there's a lot of bottles and beakers lining these shelves and stuff, right? Yeah, most broken, but there are some that are usable. Any of them that are usable, is there anything inside of them? Nothing that hasn't decayed, evaporated, or, you know, felt the wages of time. Okay. So, these usable bottles, I'm about how many of them that like I could like I could cork. Um, yeah, uh, we'll say <sighs> uh, theoretically, you could cork like twenty eight if you wanted to, but that'd be a lot. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'm going to take five of them, just as, you know, basically just empty bottles to take for in case I need to bottle something. Yeah, you uh find the cleanest. Some of them seem to be stained with odd substances. Some are colors that... Uh, really shouldn't be here. Uh, one is like a bright purple and another is this putrid brown, all of which smells just absolutely horrid. But you find the cleanest ones, put corks in them and keep five of them. Yeah. I don't know what any of this is. I don't know what these books are talking about okay here's actually a question these yeah. books they're they're nothing like we've ever seen right uh yeah they're because we, we would be used to leather bound books made out of a material that doesn't feel like paper yeah i mean it's not even like these they're not even like uh what we have what we have are like paper products with cardboard that's uh you know been laced up and stuff like that these are made out of some kind of 
plastic or a polymer that uh, doesn't degrade over time. So yeah, Brooks actually just picks up another one, and he's actively, like, he's not reading it, he's just, like, feeling, looking it over, just like, what is this? I don't... He kind of, like, knocks on it. He gives a hefty, just, plastic. What is this stuff? Why do I have a feeling we're, like, walking into, like, a Dr. Stone situation? Or bringing technology into old times? I mean, that's what it feels like. Yeah. But, um, are you gonna pick up one of the the vials that has, like, residue left over on it? He's gonna walk up to Alan and hold it right in his face. And he's gonna ask, what does this smell like? Uh... This one has a frank, uh, like a faint floral note to it, and then immediately goes bad. <laughs> like it's Noah. It's like as if you were like smelling a nice flower, and somebody stuck a dead rat in underneath your nose. Right. <laughs> after that. Oh boy. Okay. I, I'm the only one that smells this. Yeah, I held it right up into your face. Oh fuck! Thanks. Um, Ar Arby, please get get that thing out of my face if you don't mind. Does it smell good? No. Yes. In between. By the way, this he's gonna he's gonna turn around and point it towards Brooks. Ah. Oh. Watch him gag slightly. Um, that what whatever one of these books that he has, he's gonna stick in his bag as well as he mutters to himself. I wonder if somebody else might be able to figure what this shit is. <laughs> um. So yeah. let's see. Let's all beakers, the books. The cabinet that has the gloves in it, I'm guessing we need to find the power source in order to figure out what it does. Mm hmm So, I think the next thing is looking for the next room. Check the doors, they're all trapped. Hold on. Hold on, I think I have a spell that might help. I'm looking. I thought I did. I thought I had... No, it's I got detect magic and dispel magic. Okay, Arby's gonna check the door. Yeah. He's gonna like look up and down the door, along the edges, around on the wall, around it, looking for anything. So you're looking at the western door. Go ahead, roll me an investigation check. What'd you get? Eight. Eight. Okay, yeah. Um, you don't see any trap. It seems to be just one of these normal hydraulic doors. RB goes to open the door. You hear the hiss as the hydraulics release. The door slides down from the ceiling, and you are shown into another room. Long, narrow room. No, this is nope. only what we can see. Well, I guess from one direction, yes. But uh, this is all you can see from this part. That's Arby's room gonna number. walk it. Arby's gonna walk right into it. Alright. Uh, yeah. Uh, similarly, there is just a couple tables. It seems to be some sort of research facility right now. There's this room seems to be exclusively full of like cabinets and such that are only holding beakers and other glassware. 
I mean, it Here doesn't you're have. You're fucking it. liar! I can see green right there. You rat bastard! What is that? Hey. Yourself? It's carpet. It's the wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw green squiggles and I was like, "That's poison. That's a poison design, bro." That's Looks a poison like a pattern. board. Now, yeah, but at first I saw green squiggles. I was like, "Yo, that's a poison pattern. What is this?" <laughs> Noah went, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> there is a doorway a to the north of this. I wouldn't put it past them. There's a doorway to the north of this room. Okay. All right, I have to go to the restroom. I'll be back. Yeah, let's uh, take a short break then. Okay. Because I need water. I'm probably more than likely just sitting here. Yep. So how are you, Chunky? Um, we got a I got a new follower during the stream. Oh really? Yeah. Sweet. I had to refollow you earlier. It like like un made me unfollow you for some reason, so I followed you like an hour and a half ago. Are you Chatterman so... four hundred? No. I'm no. not him. Okay. Yeah, I got a follow from Chatterman. I thanked him uh, earlier. You Wait. think if somebody, if they're named Chatterman, that they're going to sit there and actually talk? Well, I mean, this is a and d stream where it's obviously yeah. like, like one of the kind of rule of thumbs with D&D &D streams is a lot of the time you're not going to get interaction from the people playing. Yeah. Because you're, Whenever people are streaming D and D, they're not streaming to interact with chat. They're just streaming for entertainment. Mm. So, like if I was if I was playing, you know, Satisfactory, Dead by Daylight, something like that, then yeah, it's a lot more likely that you know they're probably going to be active in chat. But you know, D and D, not a lot of people do. So, yeah, I just... You know, uh, my 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 account's still the Hellhound one, so yeah. that's what you're gonna see for me. Yeah, it said I following you on it. I was like, that's weird. So I had to follow apparently. Yeah, I say we go for a little bit longer. I don't want to get too far into this without uh, Adam. Yeah, because we don't want to sit there and get, like, dramatically far into all this and then him come back and be completely, like, left behind. Yeah, I, I say we kind of look through this room and then probably, you know, back up, talk about, like, what's happening here and then probably uh call it for today's session. Yeah. I can... Rat move. Go, child. Plus, go. both uh, you and Noah have work in the morning, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so. I work at 7 now. I mean, still. Yeah. I have fun at work. They yeah. put me in charge of my own module, which is a four-story tower. Nice. I was running up and down the whole entire thing. It was my fourth day, and they gave me a radio, which you rarely, very rarely ever see them do. Mm -hmm. So, but they gave me a radio for pretty much the whole day. It was like, I was working for like two hours before somebody was like, hey, nobody is taking control over this. We need you to keep an eye on it. Anything pops up, radio in, we'll be listening. And apparently I found out from a couple of people that have been working there for a few years and all that. Um, they're seeing how good I am at, like, multitasking. Mm -hmm. And so I was putting items in boxes and sending them on their way down the manufacturing line. I was going up and down all four floors doing that. 
and I was checking for any clogs or any jams, fixing them, and still hitting my rate at all at the same time, and radio in anything that is an issue. Nice. And what happened? He was just Who talking about his job. Mmm, uh, fun. But, um, so it's their way of seeing how good I am and seeing if they can promote me or get me a raise for how well I work and all that. Yeah. Since I'm doubling how much, like, the rate is, so there's pick the light and Wait, pick. So then, so then you should be able but, um, so pick the lights, all like lighter things, and you have probably multiple ones that you throw in a box. You have to do 120 items per hour. And then on the other side with the heavier, it's 61 items per hour. I was doing 120 to 140 on, um, the heavier side, and I was doing up to almost 200 an hour on the pick the light side. And I was doing it for 11 hours straight. Because I get two thirties. What is this? Chewy. I work. I literally put things in boxes to send to people because they order them. Oh, Cat food, okay. Dog food, horse feed, chicken feed. Um, things that holds chicken food. So chickens don't get into it. Animals get into it. Stuff like that. Yeah. Treats, toys. We sell these big, they're like 20 pound balls. They're like medicine balls, but they're really thick. And they're, oh, it's a horse toy. Mm -hmm. It's for a horse to kick around and play with and beat. That's why it's so thick and heavy. It's for a horse. And we sell yeah, those. A ton. An animal that weighs a literal ton. Yeah. Uh, yeah by the way, uh, Aaron. Yeah, probably it's a bit. We were thinking it's probably a good idea to just kind of go for like a another twenty minutes. Like probably just kind of figure out this room and then have a discussion before we probably call it. So Adam's not horrifically behind. Yeah, you know, honestly, kind of surprised you went with the secret doorway rather than the normal doorway. But I, you know what? That's just me. I mean, to be fair, you show us a hidden door, and my first thought is, oh, it's like just an extra, you know. It's yeah, like an extra was... little room. I didn't think it was like another entrance into the dungeon. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, oh, yeah. it's an extra little room off this side. They probably just keeping some sort of secret in. Or there's three, there's or no. three rooms into this. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, there. There's a lot of hidden doors in this. This is a, if you can't tell, very large map. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought Adam. this was just one of those cases of literally, it's just one small little loot room behind a bookshelf. Ah, uh, no, no, no. You're not that. You're not that nice. <clears throat> Be believe me, I, I, you know, you know, that's right. I, sh I should not have thought you were that nice after the tavern. <laughs> yeah. Mm. After the goddamn tavern, you're not that nice. For for reference, uh, the tavern that this was in our first campaign. Yeah, it was a never ending tavern where basically, mm -hmm. basically, he had planned out like fifty something puzzles, all happening in this same tavern where we would open the door to try to leave, and it would just be a tavern, the same tavern. Hey, be as grateful. The I let you go to magical B dubs. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> But no, it just kept going and going and going and going. We were in that damn tavern for five sessions. <laughs> that should have been fun, at least. It was to a point, but whenever he just kept saying, you see a very familiar hallway, 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 it gets to you after a while. I mean, you guys got through like 20 rooms. That was like a very commendable amount. Before we were about like, don't get ready me wrong, to... I thought I thought you were gonna get those those rooms a lot faster, but you know. 
Yeah, you had planned out like 50 because you thought they were all going to be snap rooms. 35. But... <laughs> uh-huh. And only, what? Only eight of them were combat rooms. Yeah. But yeah, no, like, I was... I. When Sammy gets oh, caught, caught up in a rug. Sa Sammy got caught up in a rug. Uh, Noah wouldn't let us finish one of the rooms for a solid 20 minutes. Uh, just, you know, some of the things we were too dumb to fucking figure out. Like, mother of fuck, man. Oh, um, I don't know if I ever told you, but if, every time we go live, I sit there and I share it to, like, all the D&D &D Facebook groups I'm in, all the, um, D&D &D Reddit groups I'm in, on Patreon, everything, I, any social Damn. media I, got, I send it to, to help try to build our community on here. Nice. Well, thank so you for that. Sometimes it doesn't get approved, sometimes it does, but... Yeah. I mean, I think, like, that's... Wow. <laughs> I I don't do that kind of stuff, like, mostly just because I don't... I don't plan on this getting, you know, horrifically big or anything. I just kind of... I, I do it because I find it fun. I find it fun to, you know, have a a D and D stream going. I find it fun to have to, you know, play satisfactory or, you know, Dead by Daylight or just stuff like that for people. So Yeah, for people to just stumble across and watch. Yeah. And I mean if people follow and, you know, hang around for a bit, great. If not, I mean, I'm not for them. Simple as that. Yeah. Noah, you back? Nope. I'll take that as a no. All right. Well, I'll be right back. Cool. Oh, Noah sent stuff in the chat. Hmm. Uh, did you ever watch Chowder? Oh yeah, that was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. Yeah, I, I thought it was just the funniest shit. It was, it was great. Although you know, I was also kind of a stupid kid, so take that with a grain of salt, I, I guess. Like the now, adult humor in that show is her pretty horrendous. Because it, I, if you I, sit there and watch it today, you catch all of these adult jokes. It's a lot of shows are like that. To be fair, mm -hmm. the, they need to uh, have something to keep the adults watching, and you know, not absolutely hating the show while their kids are are having fun with it. I have returned. Finally. He is back. My bad. Ooh, that's a nice, satisfying crack. <laughs> it's it's all right. No problem. So uh, it looks like the general consensus is that uh, we're probably going to call it here after you guys look into this room a little more. Okay. Um, but yeah, this seems to be some sort of like, like small study room there's uh no this is the uh well this is basically a storage closet this is uh where all the uh um all the big beakers and the more expensive glassware is you know uh does any liquid look like they're like whole uh some again it's uh you have a general estimate that it's uh probably gone bad whatever it is and anything that is around is either like basically a paste or is lost all of its moisture and is a powder at that point rb picks one up and 
as he's holding it, his head's going to go 180, completely turn and look at the other two. It's just going to be that smiley face, but it's going to have um, eyebrows covering the top part of the smiley face. So it's like a cynical smile towards him, <laughs> knowing that it's probably going to stop and he's going to fuck with him. It's <laughs> awful. Okay. He's learning! You pick up a um, a flask that seems to have some gloop in there. It seems to be reddish brown in consistency and almost, I don't know, like fleshy. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what's in my inventory? Give me a second. This with this. Oops. RB accidentally makes napalm. No, don't boil the yeah, gasoline. I have, a candle, I have a tinder box. Don't add the styrofoam. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. in. So, please don't try anything want... these two idiots are saying at home. <laughs> uh, Arby's gonna open it. Yeah. And on the shelf, he's gonna sit there and try to pour out a tiny bit. All right, you um, tilt the flask, and it doesn't seem to move at all until you hear it. As it's all in one big clump, just hits the neck of the flask before a small little bit starts pouring out in a slow manner, the viscous mass eventually dropping onto a small counter. He, he gets that little bit out, and he tilts it back up. Like, you're trying to... Make sure the barbecue sauce doesn't get on the side of the barbecue don't, bottle. Don't compare this to barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you will ruin barbecue sauce for me. And he sits there and corks it back up. And he's going to take his tinder box and he's going to try to catch it on fire. Yeah. Um. Wait. Uh, oh no. Cha -cha -cha. Arby's adding two parts citronella oil to one part powdered sugar. Don't do that. Once again, please do not say anything these two idiots are, or please don't do anything at home that these two idiots are saying. Thank you. There's the faint scent of sulfur as you pour this out, and you strike it once, and you see it just immediately catch flame. Like, strike to almost like uh, as if you uh, shaved off some uh, uh, magnesium. It just catches burns really bright and it starts writhing like it's twitching Kirby, what did you do everyone we need to test everyone's blood it acts on its own okay <laughs> yeah i've seen the thing all right i know better i discovered that this substance is flammable Um, is it, is it moving, Arby? Yes, a little bit. Uh, it's like the nerves are getting the best of it. Okay. Is it uh, screaming? I have no mouth and I must scream. It, it, Go ahead, read it. I it's not you. screaming per se. Per se. But it is making small noises screeching. Screeching. and i wouldn't call it a screeching it's more like bubbling like it, it have you ever uh cooked sugar for too long and it has that kind of viscous it, it not pops but it's like a whole bunch of just these like uh little bubbles kind of finding air and then uh exploding and it, it it has its own distinct sound. It's not like bubbles popping. It, it's, it's, it's I call oh, them blurps. Yeah. I call them the, blurps. The best, the best way I can think of uh, is... <laughs> Alright, so when I was a kid... Oh okay, no. If you... Don't do this. This is animal cruelty. Don't do this. It's terrible. Okay, no. Okay. Noah? Noah. It was insects, technically. Okay. Well, not insects. 
arthropods more like I don't know what the fuck they call it. snails when something when pressure builds up behind something that's a better way to say it when pressure builds up like a um like a teapot that kind of deal yeah that kind of okay cool yeah, I'm gonna leave that teapot. <laughs> no no I'm gonna leave it at a teapot. teapot I'm gonna leave it at a teapot <laughs> A af after fun. we're after we are not live, you can go on and on about the snails. And by the way, you're thinking of mollusks. Mollusks, thank you. What 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 snails are you talking about? I'm talking about a teapot. Yeah. Um, oh, going snails. They explode. Nope. 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 Grandpa, Grandpa, tell me about the snails. What snails? <laughs> you mean teapots. Snowmen. Teapots. <laughs> anyway. Uh so this thing is currently writhing as it's making blurps. Um Yeah. Brooks is gonna give that thing a wide berth as he looks to see what else is on the on the shelves. Understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah, um, there's a purple liquid, a green, like, kind of similar. It's a, like, green little mass mound of substance. Uh, oh, RV something pocket. orange. RV pockets, the, um, the, the goop. Not the burning, the one in the vial. He pockets that. Okay, yeah. He's probably going to find use with it and sometime in the future. Uh, so yeah, the uh, green goop. Um, we're just going to pop the cork on that. Okay. Yeah, uh, green goop. Um, it seems to smell very... Have you ever had one of those uh, machines uh, uh, killed off bacteria? It, it makes ozone because it's it's kind of that ozone sense as you pop open the. Uh, I like the uh, ozone. Don't don't sniff ozone. It's toxic. Don't do that. No, it's like really bad for you. Don't oh, <laughs> don't yeah. sniff you ever ozone. Had those, the electric lighters, those put off a yep. ozone. Yep. You can get really. Anyways. Nope. No, you can't. No. Okay. No. no. No, you can't actually. That's your brain dying. That's, that's <laughs> just you suffocating. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but yes, it has a faint ozone scent to it. Uh, yes, this uh green glob seems to have a faint ozone scent as you uncork it, and as air starts to fill in, it starts to glow slightly, as if bioluminescent. I'm gonna stick. poke it. Uh, with what? He doesn't know anybody. He's gonna poke it with his finger. Cool. Roll me a con save. Ah, right, thank you. <laughs> um, I will say I have immunity to diseases. Yeah, yeah. Nat twenty. Hey. Hi. Cool. Hi. You feel a burning sensation on your finger, uh, almost like an acid, and it starts to climb up your finger a little. But you take your finger out quickly enough that it kind of schlorps back together. He will immediately put it, the cork back on it as tight as he can and put it in his backpack. Label it as acid. It continues to glow. Continues to glow. Are we going to pick up the vial with the purple stuff and hand it to Alan? It's your turn. Huh? My turn for what? <laughs> My turn for what? Whoa, 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 chill. We all get to figure right, out what nice. these potions and tonics do. Not much of a tonic. I mine up today. Bricks touched his. You get to eat yours. Eat. <laughs> huh? Eat. Buddy, I don't eat things as is. I, I don't want to eat this. Even if I wasn't already dead. You'd be fine. 
I don't believe that. <laughs> Are we freaking curses? Alan with this shit? Are we uncorks it? Well, <laughs> what you gonna do? I'm not eating it, I'll tell you that. It doesn't seem to have a scent. As, uh, as you uncork it, it doesn't seem to have a scent. Oh, that's just, that's even more terrifying, honestly. Yeah, right? I meant the, type, the different types of death so that don't sent to them. I love how many we can people with. I have no idea what you just said. Yeah, Chief, you, you bugged out hard. I said, why? I love how we're finding things that we can kill people with. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah we can. Yeah, yeah, we can. Good, yeah. Okay. I just walked away so, from uh, here for a minute. Alan, oh. hold out your hand, please. Um, I don't want to touch that stuff. Just put it on the ground again. Are we reach out, grab, try to grab Alan's hand and force it out? Can I pull away? <laughs> uh, strike yeah, contest? can eat the... No, I, I, uh, Arby needs to make a uh, sleight of hand check um, to break away. It can be either athletics or acrobatics for you, um, Alwyn. God, I so not thirteen, yeah. three, three. Fuck! It was literally spinning on a seventeen. <laughs> I hate this dice. Yeah, All right. Not, yeah. Not touching that RB. Sorry. I was just trying to hand it to you. Ah, that's cool, buddy. Um, just <laughs> pour it on the ground. RB sits there and he bends down and he sits there and tries to pour out a small amount of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you pour out it almost it, it's a liquid but it almost comes out like a powder uh, have you ever played with like actual like just graphite yeah it, oh yeah such a fine powder that it almost acts like a liquid i did pinewood derby how could you tell <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so yeah it, it just pours out this powder onto the ground RB pokes it. You poke it? All right, cool. You poke it. Rex, you touch it. You're organic. <laughs> uh, Bricks, do you? Yeah, he'll poke it. Cool. Um, Bricks, you're amphibious. Yeah. I just, no, nothing would happen. You're not technically ingesting it, so. Yeah, no, you're fine. Oh. I mean, my what hand I'm would ingesting? be wet. Yeah. If, if it and has any have... reaction to water in particular. Nope. Barbie tries to spike. Striking and um, some sparks onto it. Okay, yeah, you strike your flint and steel against it. Nothing happens. You must eat it, Owen. Just a small yeah. pin. No, sir. Can I try rolling persuasion? <laughs> I don't think this is something you can persuade. Yeah, Chief. Uh, Here's here's my opinion. When it comes to like social checks with a player versus player, the only really one that needs to be um made is if you're lying. Yeah. 
Everything else needs to be uh, can just be talked out. Yeah. Can't really roll it. Um, but I don't know, what if it makes it stronger? That would be very cool. I'm not taking the chance. The last thing was moving. I don't want anything that might be able to move inside of me. You look but over this... at Bricks. He's not. The last thing nearly burned my finger off. I'm not. Touch... I'm not. I'm not eating it. I can't consume it. Well, if we Bring find any rats, we'll have them consume it. Should we bring one of the slaves in here? No. No, 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 no. Jesus no, no. Christ, dude. <laughs> and I'm the evil one, they say. Yeah, no, Bricks literally goes, I thought Alwyn was the evil one here. No. <laughs> you gotta remember Arby's chaos. What, KR neutral or something like that? Yeah, I know, but like. <laughs> God. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Look at Mr. War Crime over here. Just put it down. <laughs> Just put it down, Arby. Just. Thank I gave them food. Ar Arby, Arby corks and sticks in his um, bag. Thank God. All right. Thank God I don't eat anything, bro. I don't have to worry about him drugging me. Like, I know, right? <laughs> have fun, you two. Bricks asleep, and I just poured into his water. <laughs> I mean, at that point, like, right, like, right. That's at getting point, into his gills. That's worse. Yeah, that gets into my gills. I would be ingesting it at that point. Um, you'd be breathing it in. Too. Yeah, that'd be worse. God. <laughs> Uh, is there anything else in here that is still collected? I mean, there's the orange, there's the flask of an orange substance. I'm gonna pick that up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it is a orange liquid. It doesn't seem to have desiccated through the cork throughout the years. Pop it open. It smells zesty, like citrus. Why does this smell like a lemon? May I try to smell? Okay, hold May on. I try to smell? I, Aaron, I'm going to roll an intelligence check here. Yeah. I want to see if he's dumb enough to drink this. No. Mm, yeah, no. It smells good. Don't get me wrong. Man, but... Pine salt smells so good. Let me just drink it. Well, th yeah, no, I think this is a case of like, you know, the last thing nearly burned his hand off and that other thing was a powder. This legitimately smells like a fruit. So he would not think, you know, fruit equals death. <laughs> um, It's just pure to trick acid. That's what I'm concerned about. Um, huh. I don't want to eat this. Um, I think we'll figure what this does later. As he puts the cork in and puts uh, it next to the uh, other bottle that he got. The brown and the purple powder I got. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah. Um, is there anything else you guys would like to do? There is still the doorway to the north, and no. you can still investigate the room. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll run a real quick investigation check over the general room. See if there's okay. anything else. 18. 18. This is room number 12, right? Yes. Yeah, there's... Uh, okay. Yeah, there's... 
seems to be a um, door that's been sealed off here to the west. Or, no, sealed that's the east. Mm -hmm. Do -do 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 yeah, how is it? How is it sealed? It's got. Um, it's on this side, by the way, so it'd be pretty easy to remove. But um, it is uh, a thick bolt that uh, you uh, kind of like how um, uh, it, what are they called? Bathroom stalls have that bolt lock. Mm, you know. Yeah. It, it's kind of like, like that, but edge. like <laughs> it's like that, but three times thicker. Yeah. Like, uh, like it's like a hefty inch bar that you would be moving, an yeah. inch diameter bar. Oh. Um, and it seems to have just skirted by by uh, being covered, uh, covered up with um, cardboard boxes and stuff that uh, luckily most have like decayed to the point that uh, it's just a pile of rubbish uh, and it just peeked out through the edge. Okay. I was going to knock on the door. You knock on the door. Okay, let's uh, let's wait to do that. I would rather meet up with Minthro and we can continue on later. Yeah. I don't want to get well, I don't want to get too far away from the others. The quick can Harvey list to see if he hears anything behind the door. Behind the door? <laughs> uh, yeah. Give me a perception check. Nineteen. Nineteen. Ha, cha, cha, cha. Yeah, you hear a faint gurgling. Oh god, don't tell me it's another slime. There's want the armor anyway. There's a faint bubbly kind of gurgling behind the door. Yeah, we're not going through there. I don't I don't want to deal with another slime. Fuck that. Fuck that. What if one of the stuff we got um, kills Rex us? Rex is already walking away. Arby's just going to follow, trying to talk to Brick, seeing if maybe, just maybe, one of the vials is something that will kill this one. No. Maybe it is, but we'll find that out later. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll call it there for tonight since, uh, oh gosh, uh, since um, Adam's, not here. Adam's not here. And you guys don't want to go too far without A, another party member, and B, uh, without Adam. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Because you'd be totally in the dark to yeah. what's going on. Uh do you want to good go room ahead? choice, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go ahead and use uh, the chaos proc so we don't forget about it? Sure. Okay. We already did one. Yeah, I used one. I used a uh, check earlier. Another tides okay. of chaos. Got him a six. Hope it was worth it. Yeah. Six four five one. Six four five one. <sighs> hey bricks yep thank god um for whatever reason you really are uh affixed on the idea of an mlm M a what you know a, a get rich quick scheme Oh, a pyramid scheme. Yeah, pretty much. Target obsessively pursues a crazy get rich quick scheme. Dude, It'll I'm telling work. you, man. I'm telling you, all you need to do is sell 
3,000 units, all right, and then you level up, okay? You level up, you go higher up in the system, okay? Uh, Br Bricks just, like, all, like, glows for a second, stops dead, reaches into his pack, and pulls out the citrus-smelling vial. I could sell I could this. make a lot of money off of this. I could sell this. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna stop there for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, thoughts, questions, uh, any, uh, like, ideas of where the, uh, story's going? What, what are you all thinking? What are you all... I don't overthink might, stories. Might pay one of the people to try the powder. Stop! Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, at least it's a little more ethical. Now it's like just a, um... A uh, what do they call the medical trial? Yeah. yeah. No <laughs> job opportunity. Oh. It's like a medical trial. You get paid. Uh, you get compensated for uh, actually trying new medicines. Yeah. It's like when NASA paid people a shit ton of money to spend a year laying in bed, or a couple months <laughs> laying in bed and doing nothing else. Yeah. God. This is gonna suck. <laughs> um. Why do I get the feeling that all forms of, like, magic and shit are actually some sort of nanobot technology? Mm. Hey, I've seen that anime. <laughs> Is it? Wait, seriously? That's an yeah. anime? Yeah, so there's this anime... It sounds this... sick as fuck. It's, a, it's an isekai. It's like a cutesy isekai. This girl, uh -huh. like, man, people, like, I, I got tired of people trying to think, you know, treating me like I was better than them, blah, blah, blah. She's like, so when she died and was getting reincarnated, she was like, please, just make me average. And the oh. way the system in the world thought of it was, oh, average? Well, there's an elder dragon, and then there's a water flea, so I'll put you directly in the middle. <laughs> Which is already, like, twelve, like ten times stronger than any human could ever be, right? Yeah. And and she like she's like, whoa, magic. And she's, like, trying to make magic work better. And, like, this nanobot, like, thing is like, yo, we took this form, okay? And it's, like, nanomachines. They're like, we took this form because we thought it would be more appealing to you. Because it looks a lot like a character, you know, like a little cartoon character. And it's like, yeah, so magic in this world, it's just a bunch of us nanobots coming together based off the thought, like the memory, like thought waves, like brain waves of people who cast magic. We read those brain waves and we create whatever the magic is supposed to be. Huh. That's... And since she's so connected to them, she can like copy, like even like uh, original spells that people make that no one else can cast. She can copy them just because she's like, hey, nanobots. And they're like, bet, yeah, we can do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 okay. the, it's literally called, didn't I say to make my abilities average in my next life? Yeah, it's Ugh. just like a cutesy, it's like these four girls that want to be adventurers for different reasons. It's it, like, it, yeah, it's a it's cute, it, it's a cute girls doing cute things isekai, basically. Yeah. Okay. Uh, except, yeah. For, except for the fire mage, her backstory is a little fucked. Oh, but, okay. You know, dude. Yeah, no, it's a little fucked, but it's it's okay. Oh, yeah, it's on control Funimation. What? It, Crunchy it's on Crunchyroll. Yeah. Crunchyroll bot Funimation. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much the only two hard. streaming services now are uh Crunchyroll and High Dive. Or Netflix. Oh uh, yeah. Feeling. I'm talking. I'm so pissed. Yeah. I am so pissed. Uh. Fucking uh, Tokyo Revengers is uh, gonna on be Disney. A Disney. Yeah, yes, I'm sir. pissed. I hate on it. Disney Plus and Hulu. The volleyball Stupid. one is gonna only Hayako is only gonna be Disney Plus. Disney by Haikyuu as well. Oh my god. Yep. Um, no. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. they're, they're like, bro, what are some bangers that are coming out? Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, hours. Haikyuu, the final movies. Hours. Fucking Tokyo Revengers Season 2? Hours. And people wonder why I hate corporations. Dude, that's... I, I forgot who I was talking to about this, but that's why I'm, like, conflicted when it comes to cyberpunk, because getting chromed up is my life's dream. Uh, but at the same time, I hate capitalism. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate capitalism, but goddamn, I want to get chromed up. God. All yeah, right. this is I... fine. It. And they have the money to do it, which is sad. Yeah, that's. I really wish I could support the like the like the original creators, but I know Disney is paying them enough, so I'm totally fine. I mean, Disney's not paying. Disney's not paying the original creators. They're paying the companies that bought them, 
rights to it from the original creators. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no like, way well, that's gonna get for us, guys. I, like, the the manga companies pay the creators. Bye. The anime studios pay the manga.